Hi everyone. I'm still working my way back through the backlog of questions that uh, you've sent me and thank you so much for them. Please keep them coming. Someone has asked me, um, what can we learn from Mullah Nasruddin? I think Mullah Nasruddin, the wise fool of Oriental folklore, would have turned it around and he would have said, what can't we learn from Mullah Nasruddin? Because in a way, we can learn just about everything from him. This is my favorite picture of Nasruddin. It's one that I have on my window ledge here, and um, it's a copy of a famous picture from the Palace of Topkapi in Istanbul. It's unusual because, as you can see, Nasruddin is riding his donkey forwards, and very often he's sitting backwards on his donkey because everything about Nasruddin is back to front and inside out. I've just written three books of Nasruddin's stories that I created as a way to get myself into a particular mindset to solve or attempt to solve certain problems. And to answer the question, I think we can learn to understand ourselves through Nasruddin. I think we can also learn to problem solve in a very um, dynamic and profound way and to see the world as we're supposed to see it, as maybe children see the world, not from A to B to C, but in this zigzag, zigzag way that is really a cornerstone of everything I do and I think about. I really recommend anyone with problems in their lives to pick up a Nasruddin story and read it before you go to bed. Maybe read it several times. Let it soak in to the sand of your mind and um, don't try and analyze it, but just let it percolate its magic and see what happens. It's really worked for me and I'm sure it can work for you as well. Again, thank you and um, please do send more questions.